Hey well lovely done. people, well what's done. up? Welcome well back to our YouTube channel. I hope you guys are well and I'm also really good. Today here is another video of our trip to Warsaw and Gdańsk, Poland. We are currently in Gdańsk and we are on a tour car and this car is gonna take us to a trip where we roam around the whole city of Gdańsk. We're gonna see all the monuments, tourist attraction places, buildings, famous buildings, all of them in Gdańsk. And this driver is going to give us even more information about the monuments, famous buildings, history of Gdańsk, and so on. As I said just now, he's going to also mention the history of Gdańsk and how they were connected to wars, how they developed their city even more, and so on. Right now he's giving information about that statue on our left hand side. Here is a restaurant and it's a bar as well. Our car just stopped because of the traffic and now it has started moving. And these buildings are over two centuries old, which is really impressive. I mean, of course, they reconstructed the building a bit, but you can see it's still a bit old compared to all the other buildings, which are colored in bright colors and look way more modern. At least there's something ancient in Gdańsk. So this is a castle and it is connected with the oldest church in Gdańsk. Here is some shops, local shops on the streets. So we just got off here because the driver told us to look more closely at the church and its surroundings. So that is exactly what we did. We are looking very closely at the church because of its beautiful structure and decorations, of course. I mean, of obviously there isn't much decorations on the church because it's just brown but it the fact that it's really ancient makes it even more interesting and this guy here he is talking giving information about the church and why it was built i mean of course it was built for praying reasons but other than that yeah We're going to go straight now because there is apparently a huge ferris wheel ride which we're going to see soon and there is a huge lake along with some other uh, famous buildings and there is a place where 
the factory is does not work right now meaning it's a, a abandoned and it's broken and that is actually where the transformers movie was um shooting was done so yeah i'm really excited to see what it is That is a little watery area for, it's a little fountain, obstacle fountains for children so that they can play to spend their time. So we are now going back to where we started because apparently this was the wrong way. He came the wrong way and now we're going to turn another way, which is actually going to take us to the correct place. And yeah, so while driving, here is this girl, this girl right here, she's meditating in public and I found that quite surprising because I've never seen anyone meditate in public but this girl is and it's quite impressive how she is very focused on her meditation because there are many people walking beside her and behind her and they're like kids screaming but she's still not bothered that is really impressive This is uh, another angle of the oldest church in Gdańsk. So the name of this old church is actually Saint Catherine's Church. And it was actually made at the time when Poland was discovered, which was in, I believe, AD 1996. And that is very um, amazing that the fact that it's a really old church and, and yeah. So the church is the only actual ancient thing in Gdańsk because it was the first thing, one of the first things built here. And now here we are and our friends are going to take a photo in front of the church. I mean, who wouldn't? It's so beautiful. It's simple, classy, but at the same time it's very um, stylish and arrogant. This guy's just running around in excitement. <laughs> So we have started moving, the car has started moving, not us. Yeah. 
So now we're gonna go to another place. And I don't know where we're going, but I think it, we're going towards the place where the Transformers movie shooting happened. And I'm really looking forward to it because I want to see how the place looks like in real life. And you can see there is a portrait of a person on the building and I have no idea who that person is so I unfortunately can't tell you anything about him so yeah I apologize for that So this is a shop where you can exchange or transfer money. There is another restaurant on her left hand side. Another angle of the oldest church. And more restaurants coming forward. At this point we're just doing a 360 spin around the church because we saw many angles, many different types of angles of the church the front, the back, the side, and so on I have noticed one thing, Polish buildings have a lot of talented drawings on them. For example, a few minutes ago we just saw a portrait of a person and the artist who drew, who painted the person is really skilled because they had a lot of details in the face features and they were also very accurate. So that was very cool. And a few seconds ago, I just saw a building with a drawing of a seashell on it. It was a painting, not a drawing. And that was also very well detailed. It was so well drawn. And yeah, that was very cool and nice. Because I think there are many talented artists in Poland than in any other countries. This is another angle of the oldest church in Gdańsk. As you can already tell, it takes the church itself takes up a lot of space of Gdańsk. But even if it did take up a lot of space, there are still a lot of space in Gdańsk, which is why the roads, um, the, all the areas are so open. And people can freely walk around the city.
<laughs> here is another angle of the church there are many angles of it you can see every different angle has different physical features such as one side has really really tall windows the other side has just plain brick wall and another side has a huge clock on it and so on So you can see there are a lot of buildings in Poland, Gdańsk, and some are the ancient buildings which were made centuries ago, which is a really impressive building. I would love to live in it if I could. If I lived in Poland, I would live in an ancient building because it's really interesting to live in it. And that is the huge Ferris wheel ride in Gdańsk. And honestly, it looks exactly like the one in Budapest, Hungary. I saw that exact same ferris wheel right there and I also rode on it and it was quite fun even though it was a bit slow, but it was fun because I was high up in the air, really far away from the ground. And here is our driver telling us to hurry up because the tour was supposed to be one hour long and 55 minutes has already gone by so we only have five minutes left and it's gonna take us five minutes to reach the place where he where we got on the car so he's telling us to hurry up so that we don't waste time But anyways, that is how our day went uh, today in Gdańsk. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you get notifications every time we post videos. Thank you so much.